Hello my friends, welcome back to UED First Light. We are going to be jumping in to mission number seven or eight, depending if you count the prologue. We finished VIP and we're heading to August, apparently. Clean and sweep initiatives combined with a large area FAB detonations have quelled the roach advance in many parts of the world, including the Americas, Northern China, Japan, and most of Europe. Antarctica and Australia were not as fortunate and have been completely overrun. <gasps> Are we going to fight some Zerg Roos? The kangaroos going to get us? Oh, the infested penguins as well? Oh, no. <laughs> this is the worst timeline. And far away from the combat zones, UPL Defense Net analysts discovered a pattern in Roche movements, a pattern which could prove to be the alien's Achilles heel. Admiral Hayes of the UPL, ranking officer for all military forces, ordered the assembly of a special operations unit for a top-secret classified covert assignment. Well, if this Spec Ops Force doesn't have legendary Destroyer of Worlds Myra Davis in it, then it ain't going anywhere. Let's see how they do. Operation Backswing. This is the Looking Glass to Crystal Peak. Command code Lexington. Action code Zulu Omega. Over. Action response trigger initiative. Red code Charlie Niner 62. Over. Three minutes from phase two. Over. Hillary wants a word with backswing op, looking glass. Over. Copy that. All comms enabled. Over. This is Hillary. It all rests on your shoulders now. I know you've all been briefed on the operation. I also know you have federalized law enforcement personnel on your team. Just babysit them because they have more combat experience with the roaches than you do. And you need any edge you can get. Operation Backswing provides the foundation for every operation for the next six months. I cannot overstate the consequences for the UPL if it fails. Do your jobs and come back alive. That's an order. Hillary out. Remember, people, if you kill any roaches, make sure zero pus bags clear the area. Intel believes August uses the pus bags to talk to the worker bees. If any of them survive, they'll bring back health. And lots of it. Pus bags are those huge blimps, right? Damn it, officer. You were supposed to read the reference log on the way up here. I'll take that as a yes. And no problem. I may not know what you guys call them, but I can show you how to kill them. All right, we got her. Myra Davis, Destroyer of Worlds, uh, forgetter of grenades. She doesn't have them anymore. All right, she's got her healing patch ability. She has the headshot ability from the rifle and can switch to the shotgun. We have Richard Gideon, who has nothing. 150 damage at 14 range. <laughs> okay. This boy ain't messing around. We have Spec Ops, which do 12 DPS, 17 versus light, 6 range. Decent, decent. And then the riot officers, dudes with machine, or not machine guns, the shotgun boys from the earlier bits of the campaign. I got it. So we have to complete phase three of the mission before I'm overrun in one hour. I've already spent a minute of my time. Uh oh. David and Gideon must survive. At least two civilian technicians must survive. All right. So you guys follow Gideon. I'm going to put Davis in front in shotgun mode. We're going to try this out for a bit. Because I want her tanking, if at all possible. It's easier if she can just heal herself. Because she's always in range to do that. And then we will go. Oh, we didn't. We're detecting some pus bags in your proximity. We're having a hard time achieving a lock on their positions, but we do have a count, and it's a near certainty that they have detected you as well. Destroying them should be your top priority, but they will continue sending roaches to your position. See one. Nope, that's not a. It's not an overlord. So, uh, yeah, I need to be careful with these technicians because they don't actually do damage. And they, uh, if they were following Gideon, he has like 15 range, so he was in the back. If I get flanked, I'm gonna be in real bad shape. So let's start exploring, trying to find the overlords. Oh, let's head up here first. It's a baneling nest. All right. At least we can have the high ground here, and it'll make fights or easier. Um, these. These laser guys seem awesome. They're crazy strong. I wonder if we're going to get these in macro missions later because I think they'd really help out infantry. They seem amazing. Oh, yeah, this area is tough. 
Officer David, standing so interesting. Off. This looks to me like it's going to be a mission that has both micro and macro components. Okay, cool. So there's going to be three different phases we got to get through. And I'm very nervous because I'm afraid that I'm going to take too long on phase number one. Like, there's going to be one overlord I just won't be able to find. And then I'll lose on phase three because of that. <laughs> I can see that happening. I'm going to give this a save because I feel pretty good right now. And then I'm going to be very, very careful with my movements, but I'm going to be slow as smooth, smooth as fast type thing. Just try to keep everyone patched up, make small movements at a time, but very aggressively kill everybody as soon as we see them. This is working well. I'm going to hit up the left-hand side, then I'm going to sweep down, or I'm going to sweep to the right, and then I'm going to go down, and hopefully we can find everything. We can't path over here. Colonel Myra Kennedy, Davis, you need to be in front. Understood. Close that. And I don't know how long we're going to keep these troops under our command, so what I'm going to do is try to not lose any of them. I know that sounds really dumb, like, of course you are. But if we're sitting with these same guys for 45 minutes or something, I don't want to accidentally lose one up here and then have it com compound out of control. Because less DPS is slower clearing, and that means the time limit's more difficult. Whoa! We saved him! <laughs> He's okay! Our boy is safe! Yeah, these minerals definitely say to me, because there's no expenditure thing up here. In the top. Oh, no, 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 no! Get him! Oh, that sucks. They got... They got... They weren't following the guy. Oh, man. Well, we lost one. I'm not going to save now in case I have to reset because losing one of these is terrible. That's five. This is number six. Okay, cool. Is that it? Okay. God damn. How the hell are we going to get through that? All right, cops. You're up. You, Davis. What the hell do we do now? Well, you just can't go in and fight them. If you kill even one of them, the entire lot will come running. We need to draw them off first, then run through. Listen, uh, send in one of your best to the oven at the northeast corner of the nest. The Screamer Tower? The tall thing. Don't know what you call it. Sneak over there and blow it up. All the roaches will run over to find out what happened, except two or three sentries. They'll stay behind to guard the workers. We'll have about 30 seconds to take out the sentries and get clear of the fungus before the rest come back. Drask, do it. Everyone else, we hold it till Davis gives the word. Then we run like hell to the other side. Okay. Ten star to wrench. The canteen's in the river over. Fill it up. Now or never, Haas. One thing I forgot to tell you, do not kill the workers. Every roach in five miles will swarm here if you do. You heard her. Leave the workers the hell alone. Move, move. <laughs> that is exactly not how Terran work. <laughs> You're supposed to kill all the workers. All right, we can take down this roach warrant, then we're gonna have to kill the broodlings, and then we're gonna walk on past. Yeah, run away, little workers, run away. Take down the Hydras. I'm not seeing any drones over here. You got it. We gotta go right up here. Commander, hold your position. We have received telemetry from your team regarding the nest. We have determined that nest represents a clear danger to the mission after all. And we need you to destroy it, or your northern position will be under continuous attack. We took the liberty of having Sergeant Trask destroy another structure in the meantime. Keep the roaches distracted a bit longer. We bought you maybe two to three minutes. Ooh, I smell a lot. Come in. Setting claymores at choke points near your position will weaken the roach forces when they return. Then you can mop up what's left with the P-beams and bury their structures. Also be aware, we've lost comms with Sergeant Trask. Defense net out. Just get the word. Okay, kill All the enemies way, first sir. and then Copy that. do Head the structures. Now. Got it. Moving now. Cool. This is an interesting idea. So this is just like the Claymore mine in real life where it is a shaped blast 
detonation thing that you trigger. We got a lot of these bad boys. Let's move a little bit farther forward. Yes, sir. Maybe this way I can like pull back to the mines. They all went over to the right, so I think this will be correct. And then as they keep attacking, we'll just slowly pull back. Try to stack them up. Oh, this is gonna be carnage, isn't it? Oh, I'm really excited. Okay. Bring it, boys. Get Davis in the front. Uh, you two guys go over to this little area that looks safe. I don't really want to shoot that right now. I'm scared. Whoa! Oh no! They came from behind. Oh, that's not the area they retreated from. Oh no! 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 Crap! This is bad. Okay. Okay. Um. Everything went wrong. We're gonna pull back to this. Make sure that Davis is the one taking the hits. Another ultra list. No! 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 Oh, this is exactly... Nobody is coming from that right-hand side. <laughs> I thought I had a plan. Oh. I thought that they all ran away to that side. In the cinematic. Oh, I got it wrong. Okay, put that here. I don't have any more Claymore mines. Oh, we did it. Our new objectives from defense now. Ranch to ten star over. Ranch to ten star over. We're going back for him. Oh, you're out of your mind, man. If the roaches found him, they'll be looking around for more of us. And even if they haven't, they'll sure as shit find us if we sneak around looking for Trask. Hey, lady, let me explain something to you. Whatever happens to one of us happens to all of us. You cops might write each other off when things get rough, but out here in the world, we don't leave our fallen soldiers behind. You read me! You don't know he's dead. You guys are the best, right? Maybe he's just laying low. The roaches are all stirred up, and there's no way we'll be able to maneuver around without them finding us. I lost an entire unit in Galveston trying to pull that shit. All we can do is move on. Missions bigger than any one person, right? Colonel? We'll hit the TZ, but the mission's not over till my entire unit's accounted for. You got it. Well done, Commander. Proceed north to the next phase of your mission. You may get lucky and find some vehicles we left behind when we evacuated a few years ago. May not be in the best shape, but they should still work. Defense net out. Good we're gonna get garbage vehicles. <laughs> Some guys old. Oh, that's uh that's better than I thought it would be. Okay. So I have lost some stuff, but I think I mostly lost uh Who's or Whatsers. I've lost the shotgun guys, who aren't as important as the long range laser guys. We believe some of our structures have been infested based on research done by Quarter Nine in Temple Blue. The good news is the structures should be safe for your use even though the roach tendrils have grown into them. All intelligence indicates the roach's spores do not affect our electronics. Clean them out and you should have a ready-made fabrication site. Okay, so we have an infested base to kill and then we have flame grenades back. We don't have a flashbang, which is, you know, the destroyer of universes. However, it's pretty good. Let's uh, just try to artillery this. I'm keeping everybody on artillery cover duty. This is for two reasons. One, the artillery kills everything. So as long as it's alive, we're good. And two, the artillery kills everything. So as long as it's alive, we're good. That's really, that's, it's just easier to micro Myra Davis right now while the artillery does it. I think that's going to be a very clean way to not lose anybody, but also cover... Ooh. Yeah, so that money we picked up earlier might be coming into its own now. Oh, this thing was, like, jiggling. I wonder what it was doing. So one of the things that's really nice is because these siege tanks can firewall moving, or rather they can move while sieged, they are really good to just kind of set and forget to go on an adventure. Officer Davis. As long as they have that cover, as long as they don't run away. It's kind of my preferred way to use them at this point. Oh, another data thing. Let's see if we can get another cutscene. So that I can't close it. 
Understood. All right, let's try to blow up this. Right. We're behind in a big way, so we're splitting up into four squads. One, two, and three each take a cop and clear out a zone. Civvy, stay back here with squad four till the area is secure. Move out. Sir. All right. Oh, zone Kappa. Let's be honest, we all knew that Trask was doomed as soon as he was a character named Trask in a video game. It's just how it works. I can't think of a single Trask that has had a good time. We're gonna have to switch to that rifle, aren't we? Alright, so we're gonna toss that. Can we snipe these? We cannot. And it looks like they fire a little bit, uh, broodlings whenever they burrow, which is fine. Just do the damage we can, pull back, rinse and repeat. This seems like a pretty easy fight so far. Be discharging acidic bile now. Corner positions will no longer be a viable tactic. You got it. Okay. I mean, it'll be kind of viable. Because Myra Davis just gets hit and it's fine. Oh, or I can just not hit both of them. I'll do as much damage as possible. I think that once we get one of them, we're going to be in real good shape because the other will be much more simple to deal with. Also, we'll half the Broodling count. Though, it is important to think that maybe, just maybe, there will be some problem with that where one of them dies and transitions to another phase for the final one. So maybe I won't try to kill them at the same time. Oh, something is grown over there. Oh, some, yep, okay. This isn't good. Nidasus. All right, let's try to take those down as we slowly move forward. And I'm going to try to get the final shots on this guy. Oh, I'm not doing well. appears the High Queen is aiding the Spiker and providing an intra-regional tunneling system. If you destroy the tunnels, you should be able to corner it. Okay. Oh, I'm so surrounded. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I got completely, completely overrun here. Oh, man. Uh, where is my save? Ten minutes and we're at the 18... Ah, crap. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll see you guys in a second. All right. We are back with the boss fight once again. So what I'm going to try this time is being a little bit more aggressive and trying to put as much damage on this guy as possible in the early stages. He can't do much, though, because he does burrow, which is unfortunate. 
Snug over here. Oh, I wanted to switch back to the rifle. I forgot. Yeah, the shotgun, not great here because it does bonus versus light. Obviously, the low range is also a tad problematic. And we're going to have to start dealing with those Nidus's ASAP. Because they go crazy. That appears to be discharging acidic bile now. Corner positions will no longer be a viable tactic. Got it. All right, one more, and we'll be able to be done with one of the lurkers. There we go, one down. Yeah, we can put a lot more damage than I thought I could. I was being overly cautious before. But that's one out of two lurkers dead. Much simpler. The Nidus is like right over next to him though, which is annoying. Alright, let's start taking these down. Just keep firing the grenades on them and kiting around. Yeah, when only one of the lurkers is alive at this point, infinitely easier to contain. Yeah, there should be like five or six of these. Probably one in each little part. Oh, no! Oh, poor Johnny. It's always him. Alright, I think that's all the broodling spawners. Pops up. Start firing a bit. I think we need like two more unburrows. And then we'll be good to go. It's weird that Officer Davis doesn't have detection. She has everything else. There we go. What? just erupted into dozens of smaller ones. It, 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 uh, we've never seen anything like that. Get distance and take them out a few at a time. I'm on it. Okay. Moving. I'll try. Rulings are pretty good, though. Do we want a choke point? I guess we want a choke point. Feels pretty scary. Oh, they don't do that much damage, though. And Officer Davis is very power. Such strong. She's also the only thing with push priority in this entire campaign. How many broodlings is this guy made of? <laughs> Commander, we have classified this encounter to be available to personnel with our clearance. As of now, that includes you and your team. You are prohibited from sharing this with Colonel Gideon or the rest of the insertion group. We will conduct a formal briefing with all of you upon your return to Temple Blue. Defense net out. All units, get the hell back here. We're under attack. We're under attack. Well, it's a good thing that you guys are clearance are. Okay, we got macro section now. Let's see. 24 combat units. Oh, he's been doing his macro. Good, let's grab these mineral pallets. Try to hold things off. Figure out what's going on. Oh, oh, shot a guy. We got a car unit. Hey, how you doing, car? Trying to pull everything together. We don't have our stuff in the greatest position to start out. We have a lot of mineral fields to work with. Oh, you're not you're not the deploy thing. <laughs> I thought you were. Okay, what is this? A billet and a manufacturing? No. Those are in dumb places. I don't want that. I wish I had a place to garrison these. I think we need to grab some Francine gas first of all. Make sure we're working these rich mineral fields first. And then we can get the guy that repairs the vehicles, and at the same time, it'll be a place to garrison these techs. So they'll be nice and safe. Oh. Sorry, my friend. I think that we have a lot of firepower right now to just hold stuff off. That's the last of them. For now, at least. Colonel, what are your orders? 
This base was mothballed five years ago after we put down the Boston insurrection. We're opening it back up for business, right under August's nose. Sergeant Ackersman, order the unit to break out the mech suits. I'll pass the word, sir. Alright, he said mech suits, and that's actually the unit that I wanted to try here. The X-whatever from the factory? I've The stats on that thing look pretty good. And I think with that area repair dude, it's going to be real, real strong. I don't remember what it's called, I'm so sorry. The uh, the Z1. Yeah, I think the Z1 is going to be pretty good. So that's going to be the goal for today. And until then, I just want to have these siege weapons all chilling out in a decent place. We want Myra Davis to patch everybody up with her medic prowess. And I guess we won't need that much Francine gas because we're going for the cheap one. But we got to get the infrastructure for it first and the upgrades, of course. Not entirely sure where. Oh, hello. Yeah, these Z ones. 27 damage per shot, and they shoot pretty quick at a long range. They kind of got a little bit of everything. They have that uh, slowdown ability, which seems like when I have enough of them, I can hit that critical mass and just kind of. I want this perimeter secured. I want claymores and anti-personnel mines up in the next five minutes. Oh. We can't stay here, Colonel. She's right, Colonel. The roaches put out a pheromone or something when they get hurt. We're not staying here any longer than we have to. And you two have a perimeter to watch. When I need your advice, trust me, I'll ask. Okay, so... Yeah, we have more mines. I didn't notice that they respawned. So these are just different guys, or they resupplied or something. Okay, let's get... Uh, manufacturing. Oh, there's not really a good place for it. Because this whole area is covered in mines. <laughs> How did that happen? These guys are having a hard time getting out, too. Let's build three of them. FOV. Yeah, we want a forward operating base because we want some of those dudes. And then three manufacturings. I guess we're kind of walling this place off. I didn't quite mean to do that, but what you going to do? That guy's stuck. Are you... Who's the one that's trying? Oh, no, he's not building that. Is it you? Please identify yourself. Oh, there's someone phantom trying to build and he's stuck and I cannot quite see where he is. Let's just get... Everybody get re back onto minerals or something. Last building's up. Oh. Colonel, base is fully operational. We're moving to phase three. There's enough raw materials here to manufacture the vehicles we need for phase four. Mech team, get us some STAs and fast. The screamers will be coming. What are STAs? I'm having a hard time with the train one CSV, four condors, and an officer. Okay. I can do that. I have a lot of the stuff for that already. This is where the officer comes from. I want the CSV first, though. Sorry, I'm having a hard time with the names because they all kind of blend together. They're, a lot of them are just letters and numbers. I'm with you, sir. Officer Davis, standing by. Get those there, and we definitely want those upgrades. So we need condors from an airstrip. And supply lines thing, and you guys are hazardous materials tech who are going to... Oh, the pathing. So you guys can chill in here, and you'll be nice and safe. Or does that need an upgrade? Allows infantry to load. Okay, we can't do that yet. But at least they're going to be safe in this basic area. That's almost as good. The attacks are pretty light. Condor. That's cheap. Thought the Condor is going to be a lot more expensive. Oh my goodness. Big Guardian energy over here. Ugh. Let's get... Is this Z1? No. No, those are Z1. We're just going to start training them. And this area as a hold position thing seems pretty secure. Oh, it's really just the terrible, terrible 
Sim City I have going on here. Very, very difficult. Increase the speed of nearby allied units and detect cloakers. Yeah, we'll get one of these. That seems pretty good. And then, is the R&D the engineering bay? I'm pretty sure it is. So we're going to get these two. I'm really unhappy about that placement, but you got to do what you got to do, right? Okay, we need one condor, two condor. The condor is a transport. So it's not going to really help us fight. I got to keep getting these mechie boys then. But these should theoretically be full HP every single time. Because they're going to get healed up by the CSV. I might even get another CSV and put it over here. We're also going to get 2-2. Two -two. We have 30 minutes left. We spent a lot of time. But this is complete phase 3. Is this phase 3 or was this phase 2? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> I hope this is phase 3. Now, if I have 30 minutes to complete phase 3, then there's no way this is phase 3 now that I think about it. That wouldn't make sense. We're going to be done in 150 seconds. More guardians. Swing over this way. Take it all down. We keep building those. 1-1 one, one is on the way. There's actually quite a lot of minerals here. Very, very good on that end of things. Please identify yourself. Research complete. Where do I build more supply depots? Maybe like some right over there? Gosh, <laughs> they just can't get it. Well, I have a dropship right now, but it has to land. I literally cannot land it. It doesn't let me because it's too bad of SimCity. Oh no. They're going to be like, hey, load some guys up into this dropship for phase three. And I'm just going to be unable to, and I'm going to lose the mission. It'll be the worst loss of all time. Well, 75 more seconds. I need more supply in order to afford this. Resources. And let's grab another CSV. Oh, but I need more supply for that as well. The Zerg have really chillaxed here. And we got to build 50 combat units. It's a lot of combat. UPL vehicle weapons one. Oh no! Oh, I double queued. Well, we're going for the two one timing, just as Flash does with his mech compositions. <laughs> Oopsies. Oh no. Uh, I'm a fool. Oh, I just didn't notice. I think mech is the right way to go, basically, always. We can get these two guys in here. Now they are safe. As long as this dies. Oh, just some broodling. <laughs> I guess the lurker died again. His old position on this side. I'm not concerned about broodlings. And we just got to keep training combat units at this point. If we're getting condors, we might as well get the condor upgrade that allows you to store more guys into it in case we have to go somewhere. I mean, that's the logical thing to do, right? We've got to be going on an adventure at some point. I like the Z1. The badger bomb seems really good. The armor thing in combination with the repair seems great. And then the frozen ability that slows enemy attacks down... It just, it seems ridiculous. So I'm hoping that all of those aspects together will mean that they can deal with most problems fairly reasonably. But, oh, excuse me. They're also pretty fast. They have move speed three. And that's what really impressed me. These artillery with their 0.81 speed while unseaged is pretty darn slow and clunky. And... At this point in the campaign, I really, really want that mobility. It makes me feel a lot better about things. We're almost at 50 supply. Or 50 combat units. And then we'll be able to go. Yeah, this is quite the fortified barrier. Nothing is touching them. I guess they have the artillery helping out as well. Kind of want another one of these. They're very good. Z1 ready, sir. Research complete. 
Oh, I didn't get the officer. <laughs> I just, I looked at him. <laughs> Whoops. Uh oh, it's upgraded. It's Zergles now. I guess it makes sense that the pressure is very light here. If you were losing stuff, it might be that you never got to the 50 combat unit thing, and then it would be, it'd be miserable. Oh, we can get more upgrades. Do we want more upgrades? I mean, plus three attra attack seems pretty good. How much damage did these do? 31. And they did 26, I think, base. So 26. No, they obviously didn't do 26 because that doesn't math its way into two upgrades very well. It's like getting two or three damage per upgrade. Sergeant, we're moving to phase four now. All right, people, pack everything into the condors. We're on our way to meet August. Okay, make sure all four condors are loaded before proceeding. I got it. So we can try to lower it over here. Uh, take down this airfield, I guess. So we can actually get guys over there. And start loading. We'll send him. He's very excited to go. Uh, up. And we'll send this one over. Obviously gotta bring Davis, gotta bring this CSV. There's a lot of important stuff to bring. I'm gonna give this a save because I don't know if I'm doing things right. I'm just making decisions. Can you undeploy, er, yeah, can you undeploy these with units in them? Whoa! Yeah, I can. And can I put them inside of a... One sec. We might be able to do something weird. So get these guys in here, and then... Oh, you are already loaded. Oh, this is not going well. Figure out a place to land. And then can we put this full thing in? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, I dealt with that problem. Uh, okay, um. I guess we gotta unload this and then get the people in. Everything over. Uh... We definitely want this. Yeah, you can't put it in. They thought of it. Yes, Get some of the artillery in. Why not? Yes, yes, and then maybe another one of these. This is the final condor. I think it is. Gotta get Myra Davis, Carr, Gideon. All these bad boys in. Sure. Oh, no. Uh, lift off. And lift off. This is four loaded condors. Let's go. Use caution, Commander. August has established a perimeter of anti air defenses, including long range cannons capable of striking targets in low Earth orbit. These cannons are immensely powerful and will down your condors with a single hit. You'll need to move in front of the west rim of the crater and take your team down on foot. Your air support's no good in there. Defense net out. I didn't have air support. I guess I had the condors. It's just saying this is a no retreat. It took me like 10 minutes to get the guys loaded in. It was very This is as bad. far as we go, people. Any close and the smokers will rip us a new one. August knows we're here, so be sure you're listening, because I'm only saying this one time. At least two civvies need to reach the end zone. Everyone else, including me, is expendable. Did I bring civilians? Uh-oh. I don't think I loaded the civilians. Oh no. Please give me new ones. <gasps> okay. Alright, 
heal everything up and let's see what's going on. I'm ready if you are. Do you guys inside the APCs? We got so many of these. And they're really fast. Okay, I'm feeling pretty okay now. Let's do this. So we have to go this way, I guess. Let's go. Oh, maybe I never found Myra's flashbang. Oh, we are slaughtering through this. Easy peasy. Officer Davis, she don't care. Let's fire some flares. Why not? For a little bit of vision. Can't quite see what's poking her. I do know what it is, though. Let's chill out here for a little bit until Myra is patched up. We can deploy this to heal so that we're fine. Gives the artillery a little bit of time to catch up as well. Myra, you're taking a lot of heat, my friend. I'll put you in the back and then just keep keep going. Oh my gosh, these guys are so crazy. Look at how they're just murdering everything. I'm not even remembering to use their abilities. Okay, Myra. You get this way. Everyone over here. Oh, this is insane. Maybe this is how it's supposed to go, but it feels like I'm doing crazy damage. Myra, I'm putting the rifle back on you because you do not need to be in the front anymore. I keep forgetting to bring these to deploy them. Oh, what was that? I found a lump. Swing down here and see what is going on with this bad boy. Is that... I don't know what that is. I thought it was like a cerebrate at first, but it doesn't look like one. It just looks like uh, Mr. Ugly. Do I have to bring people over to it? Or maybe there's like... Yeah, we gotta kill the last Nidus. Okay. We can get Gideon over here. Alright, phase five, game time! Cool. Knight us down. Uh, let's deploy right here and get everything patched up. Shit, we got roaches all over our six. Okay. I can deal with that. I have to commit my entire unit to keep them back, or they'll get inside our position, and then we're royally fucked. Davis, I want you to take Eckersman and finish this thing. Take the zippies right up to August's front door. Colonel, I'm not trained for that. You've got the combat experience with these things. That's a hell of a lot more useful right now than the SFAS any of my men have. Let's just get this done so we can get the hell out of here. Where do you need me? Are you sure? I don't want to lose those. They're really strong. What the hell is this thing? Oh, wow. I saw this thing on satellite photos, but never... I, I never thought it was... I mean, this is enormous. So let me see if I understand this right. You're going to drill through its outer shell, plant the nukes, seal it up, and detonate. <laughs> How long do we have to get clear before the nuke goes off? Officer, I can't concentrate with you asking questions, okay? You're here to keep me safe. I'm here to kill this thing. Think you can handle your end of it? Okay. Here are the hostiles. We got a spec ops. Oh, he's not mine. We have only this guy. We're gonna go to rifle mode. You got it. I'm on it. Understood. Moving. Understood. Okay, we gotta get over to that side. Understood. Moving. And four. There's something pinged. And four. Understood. Yeah, it looks like a Nidus or something. It's just Moving. popping out some dudes. Understood. You got it. Exactly. I'm on it. Understood. Burn it. You got it. And pull him back. I'm on it. Oh, we gotta got heal it. up Mr. Spec Ops. He's having a bad day. I'm on it. Four. You got it. Understood. Yeah, if he's my ally, I gotta keep him safe. So we have two allies to keep safe. This little tech in the bottom. And then... Spec Ops man, who is really playing defense quite well. I'm gonna save right now because I think I'm good. 
Oh gosh, if he did one more damage, he'd be better off. He's damaged. We'll try to heal him up. One sec, one sec, Mr. Nidus. It's fine. Yeah, Myra can take the heat. Try to take it down before it finishes spawning. I'm just gonna... Shotgun mode. Where next? It feels like there's already one on that right-hand side. Something's really weird here, you know? Yeah. This brain keeps sending all the flying ones away from here. With as many as it could have killed us ten times over. Not the kind of thing you'll hear me complaining about. No, seriously. Anytime we attack one of their nests, every roach for miles comes a calling. But the brain's sending these away instead. Look, classified or not, this brain talked to us earlier. It told us... Can you people please shut your mouths for three freaking seconds so I can finish this? <sighs> Fine, whatever. Moving. I'm on it. Understood. You got it. Okay, that one messed with pathing and I was trying to get over to it, but it created a full wall and Myra... Myra is not the brightest gal, so she kind of was having a hard time getting over there. What we got going on? An egg. Try to burn it. Oh, little Nidus over here. Oh, it's like the Hydra doing that respawny thing. We gotta take down this Nidus first. We have two minutes left on drill time. So wait, we're being chased by... A couple Zerglings. If they're doing the thing like the Nidus, then I don't actually want to kill these Lings, right? Because it'll be a pain. Because that's what we did with the Hydra and it worked out really well. So I'm going to do that same idea, is just kind of kite it. But this guy's not helping. He's kind of being a pain in the butt. And we just follow the yellow brick broodlings to find all these nidises. Wall off my... Oh, that's not a wall. I thought that that would be collisionable terrain. We're doing pretty good on time. It does take them quite a while to hatch, so at the end I can firebomb them and we won't have any problems. Until then, I guess we just kind of run in circles, huh? This really isn't too bad. Thirteen seconds remaining. Then I bet we're gonna have another super scary boss fight. I'm not going to risk it. Hey, get wrecked. All right, done. I'm done. Colonel Gideon, you can send the all clear to defense net. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, I thought the nuke went off. Oh, the nuke went off. just like that Hydra from the last mission. Man. Myra Davis is gonna need one heck of a sewer system to survive this one. But I believe in her. Because she's done it before. Ah. Uh. All right, August has been completed. 51 minutes and 14 seconds, not too bad. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.